Menlo College women's volleyball currently sits in third place in the Golden State Athletic Conference, just one game out of first place, and with a chance to pull into that first place spot with a win today. The only obstacle, a school that the Oaks have never beaten in program history, the Westmont Warriors who make the trip up Highway 101 here to Atherton. It's the Oaks and the Westmont Warriors here on Senior Day, coming up next on the Menlo College Sports Network. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us here on the Menlo College Sports Network. This is Ryan Barnett bringing you Menlo College women's volleyball action for one last time at home here in the 2019 women's volleyball season. The opponent today, the Westmont College Warriors, currently receiving votes at 21 and five on the season and 12 and three in the Golden State Athletic Conference. That is good for the first place spot in the conference. And as we mentioned in the lead on, Westmont 15 and 0 all time in program history against the Oaks. Now what's so scary about this Westmont team is really their youth and how well they're built to be a long-term perennial favorite in the GSAC. You consistently see this team at the top of the standings at the end of every year, and yet they only have one senior on the roster. And that senior, of course, no slouch in the form of Cassidy Ray, two-time all-conference member Cassidy Ray. But behind her, you're headlined really by a lot of freshmen. I mean, three freshmen lead the Warriors in major statistical categories, assists, service aces, and blocks. Most teams, you know, you see youth and you think that'll play to the opponent's advantage. Westmont totally uses their youth to their own advantage, and it's what makes this team tick here in the Golden State Athletic Conference. Now, last night, the Warriors came out a bit sluggish to open up their match in Rockland against William Jessup. The Warriors, that being the Westmont Warriors, of course, William Jessup, also the Warriors, but the Westmont Warriors, I should say, would drop the first set before coming back with a vengeance to win the match in four. This being said, Westmont has not been the strongest team on the road, and they demonstrated that last night. This team only six and four away from Camera Court in Santa Barbara. This could play advantage Oaks, especially on senior night. A lot of emotions. Flying high here inside Haynes Trim Pavilion. Let's see if that can carry the Oaks to their first win against Westmont in program history. Now let's take a look at the Golden State Athletic Conference standings, as we mentioned a little bit in the lead-in. Up on top are the Westmont Warriors and Hope International. The two teams have the same conference record at 12-3, and, and Westmont currently holds the tiebreaker to give them first place sole possession. Right behind those two, how about your Menlo Oaks at 11 and four, one game out of a first place spot. A win for the Oaks today and a Hope International loss to Vanguard would put the Oaks in a tie for the top position in the GSAC with two games to go. One of those being against a team they'd be tied with, the 24th ranked Hope International Royals. Now a win for Westmont and a Hope International loss to Vanguard would push the Warriors to sole control of first place and would statistically eliminate the Oaks at a shot of a GSAC regular season title. All sorts of major GSAC implications in this match today, arguably the GSAC match of the week, the Oaks and the Westmont Warriors. Now let's move on to talking about our Oaks. 15 and nine, 11 and four in the GSAC, good for third place right now. Still looking to hold on to conference title hopes, whether that is regular season, conference tournament, or both. The Oaks holding on, this feisty team stumping all teams in the GSAC, looking really good all around. Now, instead of our traditional pregame, uh, we will do a little honor of our seniors. I mean, it is senior day, so let's start with uh, the first senior on this squad, uh, middle blocker, Emily Sonata. Sonata came to the Oaks from the Alani School in Honolulu, Hawaii. She immediately made an impact on the court starting her freshman season, where she, would, she recorded 189 kills, good for second on that Oaks squad, and earning a spot on the all GSAC team. She followed that up with her incredible sophomore campaign where she recorded 214 kills, 37 service aces, and 57 blocks, all good for at least top three amongst the Oaks. In her junior season, Sonata saw her most consistent attacking season, leading the Oaks with a 24.4% kill percentage. Now, although she missed her senior year due to injury, Sonata played a valuable role mentoring 
the younger middle blockers on this team as a player-coach hybrid. She finishes in the top 10 all-time in Menlo College history in kill percentage, assisted blocks, and total blocks, and her 2016 season blocking total ranks her ninth all-time for a single season in Menlo College history. Our next senior is outside hitter Nicole DiMartino. DiMartino came to the Oaks from nearby San Ramon Valley High School in Danville, California. And after being utilized as a strategic role player in her first three seasons, DiMartino has had an offensive awakening this season, currently totaling 101 kills, 17 service aces, and 201 digs. The versatile senior has been used in high leverage situations both offensively and defensively this season, averaging four kills and eight digs per match this year. She three times has exceeded the 10 kill mark, including a career best 12 in a five set thrilling victory over OUAZ on September 28th. Next up, another Iolani school graduate, outside hitter Moya K. Kooha. Keikooha has proven to be one of the most prolific attackers in Oaks history and is capping off her career with potential GSAC Player of the Year numbers. Keikooha had totaled triple digit kills in every season with the Oaks and has currently 770 for her career, which ranks her seventh all time in program history. And she has the possibility to move into sixth with 18 kills tonight. Her 377 kills this season ranks her fifth best for a single season, and she can move to fourth with a 16 kill match tonight. Keikooha has been so much more than an attacker for the Oaks, however serving as a Swiss Army knife, being able to set, defend, and block with the best of them. She currently has 115 assists, 100 service aces, 1,192 digs, and 67 total blocks for her career. She has twice been named GSAC Defender of the Week, twice named GSAC Attacker of the Week, and earlier this season was awarded NAIA Attacker of the Week after back-to-back 20-kill, -back 20 20-dig 20 matches. Keiko Oha looks to cap her Menlo career with one more title, a GSAC Championship. Now our final senior is setter Pamela Dungo. Despite only playing for the Oaks in two seasons after transferring from the City College of San Francisco, Dungo will go down as the best setter all time in Oaks history. Her two seasons, in her two seasons, she has amassed an unheard of 1,638 assists and counting, good for the all-time lead in program history. This being said, Dungo has been so much more than just a brilliant player at the set position. She is an incredibly sure-handed defender, totaling 465 digs in her Oak career, and a model of consistency for the Oaks behind the line, totaling 65 service aces. Dungo was twice named GSAC Setter of the Week this year and is making a bid for an all-conference selection. Once again, your four seniors from Menlo College, Emily Sonata, Nicole DiMartino, Moya K. Kooha, and Pamela Dungo. Before we get to Senior Day introductions, we'll take you through the starters for both teams. First for the visiting Westmont Warriors. The libero is number two, Lauren Freeze. Number five, Haley Galloway. Number seven, Sydney Dunn. Number 12, Brooklyn Cheney. Number 13, Patty Kerman. Number 14, Lexi Malone. And number 15, Kendall Kenyon. And the starters for your Oaks. Number one, Janae Wooten. Number four, Luciana Herrera, the libero. Number eight, Nicole DiMartino. Number nine, Jaden Scott. Number 11, Abby Briggs. Number 13, Moya K. Kooha. And number 18, Pamela Dungo. We're about 30 seconds away from our national anthem and senior day production. Those will be done by our public address announcer, Brian Brownfield. Stay tuned. Coming up next, what will prove to be one of the best matches of the season. It's the Oaks and the Westmont Warriors next on the Menlo College Sports Network.
most playing time of her career in her senior season with 24 matches played. This year she set a career best in statistics across the board, including kills, assists, aces, blocks, and digs. On this year's team, she ranks fourth in both kills and digs with over 100 in each category. Three times this season, she has picked up 10 plus kills for the first time in her career, including a career best 12 against OUAZ on September 28th, right here at Sideline Spring Pavilion. Today, she is joined by her mother, Dina, father, Todd, and brother, Tony. Once again, Nicole DiMartino.
Senior day is upon us here inside Haynes Prim Pavilion as the Oaks get ready to take on the receiving boat. Westmont Warriors, it'll be a little louder in here than your traditional Saturday afternoon game. And we have the late start today, four o'clock on Saturday. It's the Oaks and the Westmont Warriors. We'll take you through the starters one more time. First for the Westmont Warriors, they go this way. The libero is number two, Lauren Freeze. The setter is number seven, Sydney Dunn. At outside hitter, number five, Hallie Galloway. At outside hitter, number 12, Brooklyn Chaney. At opposite side hitter, number 13, Patty Kerman. And the middle blockers are number 14, Lexi Malone. And number 15, Kendall Kenyon. The starters for your Oaks, they go this way. The libero is number four, Luciana Herrera. Also at defensive specialist number one, Janae Wooten. The setter, number 18, Pamela Dungo. Outside hitters, Number eight, Nicole DiMartino, and number 13, Moya Kekooha, and the middle blockers, number nine, Jaden Scott, and number 11, Abby Briggs. Once again, the starters for Westmont, Freeze, Galloway, Dunn, Chaney, Kerman, Malone, and Kenyon, the starters for your Oaks. Wooten, Herrera, DiMartino, Scott, Briggs, Kekooha, and Dungo. The Oaks only have one available player on their bench today. That would be number 10, Kristen Whitney, as both Cassie Carino and Lauren Schaefer not dressed for action today. Of course, we know as well, senior middle blocker Emily Sonata, she's had to miss the entirety of the season with a back injury. And redshirt setter number 15, 17, Kimberly Uluave, who we will not see today. So just the one player, Whitney, on the bench available for the Oaks. Westmont goes a little bit deeper. Interesting to see no Cassidy Ray in their starting lineup, but I'm sure we will see Ray off the bench at this point later on. DiMartino starts it off for the Oaks. The senior sends it into the net. Westmont has the first points of the game, one to nothing, and immediately subs. Get ready to check on for Westmont. There's Cassidy Ray right on cue and also on Keel. Keelan Kistner, a freshman setter out of Queen Creek, Arizona, and it's Kistner who goes back to serve. Kistner out of Arizona Volleyball Powerhouse Perry High School, never ranked below fifth. Dungo sets Kay Kawoha, give her the kill. She starts off her senior day with a kill to even things up at one apiece as Jaden Scott goes back to serve. Finishing up that thought on Kistner, freshman setter, 
is Kistner out of Perry High School in Queen Creek, Arizona. Never ranked below five in the state in her time there as Jaden Scott served. Goes long, 2-1 Westmont. Back to serve Hallie Galloway. Galloway, the outside hitter. 25 service aces on the year. Up to serve, it's a floater, Herrera. Dungo sets K. Koha goes through the block, give her the kill. Some nice directional play there from Moya K. Koha, not going with the traditional right armed missile that we'll see. Kristen Whitney steps on, Janae Wooten off, and Pamela Dungo, another senior, back to serve. All three seniors' names have been called already to start the match, whether they've been serving or in the form of K. Koha, who has both of the Oaks kills. Dungo's service, cross court, handled there by Morrison. Now set by Kistner, sent back by the Oaks. A block there, Abby Briggs and Kristen Whitney put the Oaks ahead for their first lead of the match. It's three to two here in set number one. Dungo back to serve once again. The senior out of Hercules, California in the Northeast Bay. Cross court once again, Morrison, Kistner, back set to Cassidy Ray with the southpaw. She slams it down to tie things up at three apiece. Sub coming on for Westmont, it's number 10. That is Alexa Gaddis. Gaddis, a 5'10 freshman center out of Campbell, California, and she goes back to serve. Gaddis floats it over. Herrera, running bump set by Dungo to Kristen Whitney. She waits for it to come down, then sends down Kistner. Morrison, a bump set to Cassidy Ray again through the block, give her the kill. Cassidy Ray, the kills leader on this team. She's up to 322 now on the season. Of course, she's the closest on the Westmont squad to Moya K. Kowoha of the Oaks, who has 379. As Gaddis sends it into the net to tie things up at four. Another substitute for Westmont here. They're using them early and often. Lexi Malone back on the court, the sixth lead freshman out of Ventura, California, not too far from Westmont's campus in Santa Barbara, just one county up. K. Kowoha back to serve, cross court. Handled there by Cheney. Kistner sets Malone, nicely dug out there by DiMartino. Kristen Whitney swings on it, give her the kill. 5-4, Oaks regain the lead and K. Kowoha goes back once again to serve. One half of the Iolani duo for the Oaks, K. Kowoha and Sonata, both seniors. K. Kowoha serves, Morrison. Kistner sets Cheney. Keikoa slides for the dig, but DiMartino slides into the pole there. She's unable to get to it, and we're tied up at five. Two more subs for Westmont. Number seven and 13, Sydney Dunn and Patty Kerman back on the floor. And Sydney Dunn back to serve. Dunn, the sophomore setter, five foot eight. She has 23 service aces, floats it over. Keikoa, Dungo, sets Abby Briggs in the middle. She is blocked combination there, number 15, Kendall Kenyon, and number 12, Brooklyn Cheney pair up for the block. Dunn back to serve again, Westmont back on top, six to five, cross court service, Keiko Oha, Dungo, long set to DiMartino, she goes cross court, but too much mustard on that one, as Westmont has opened it up to a seven to five lead. Dunn back to serve again, sophomore out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Cross court, Kay Kawoha once again digs it up nice and high. Abby Briggs tries to get the kill. Dunn was there for the dig. Running set by Freeze and Cheney fans it over the net. Kay Kawoha, Dungo, back set to Kristen Whitney off the top of the block, goes through the hands of Morrison and she just gets it back and free balls it over. Herrera, Dungo, back set to Kay Kawoha. What a dig there. I believe that was done. Now Kerman gets an attack. Herrera, Dungo, sets DiMartino, tip piece. It's a kill for Nicole DiMartino. And Luciana Herrera back to serve. She's been as hot as they come in service situations down the stretch for the Oaks. The libero out of Murrieta goes cross court. Cheney, Dunn, sets Kenyon. There's Kay Kawoha. Jaden Scott gets up at the net. Sydney Dunn was ready. Freeze, back set to Cheney. She's blocked. Morrison, freeze. Over to Kerman again. Cross court, nicely placed there by Patty Kerman for the kill. Brooklyn Cheney back to serve as Hallie Galloway steps on for Westmont. 
Cheney. We've seen her dress as a libero, but just starting it outside hitter today. Sinker, Keiko Ohad down to a knee. Dungo sets Jaden Scott, who slams it down with an exclamation point. Janae Wooten back on for Kristen Whitney. The Oaks still down by one. Wooten out of Humble, Texas. The, de the defensive specialist, 5'5", five, five, sophomore, sends it down the line, handled by Galloway, and Kenyon, a masterful kill there. Makes it 9-7 to seven, Westmont. And Lauren Freeze back to serve. Freeze. She's the libero, a junior out of Auburn, Washington. Graduate of Mountain View High School. No, not in Mountain View, in Auburn, Washington. Herrera, Dungo, long set to DiMartino. She has to wait for it, dug out by Cheney. Done. Sends it over to Galloway, cross court. Keiko Oha with a nice dig there. And DiMartino, she's blocked but was ready, picks up the space. Bump set there by Keiko Oha, right back to DiMartino, and Cheney handles it. Now a set over to Kerman. Somehow Herrera keeps that up, and DiMartino flicks it over the net. Sydney Dunn covers the space. Now Freeze sets Kerman once again off the top of the block. Dungo, Keiko Oha, back set to DiMartino again, and there is Freeze the libero. Misplayed there by Malone, and now Kerman gets a chance to swing on it. It goes wide, Point Oaks. Listen to this crowd. On a Saturday afternoon inside Haynes Rim Pavilion, they came out in numbers to support their Oaks on Senior Day. They know what's at stake in this game. The Oaks looking for their first win ever in program history against Westmont as DiMartino back to serve down the line, handled by Galloway. Now Kerman with the swing, return to sender. Moya Keikoha and Jaden Scott tie us up at nine apiece. Back to serve again, DiMartino. She nearly had a service ace, her first serve of this run. Cheney, done. Sets Galloway right at the hands of Herrera. Short set to Jaden Scott, gets through the block, but Galloway cleans it up. Dunn sets Malone. Now DiMartino, Dungo, long set, K. Kooha. Cheney gets it up in the air. Bump set there by Malone. Kerman sends it into the net. Oaks regain the lead, and they win the race to double digits. It's 10 to nine here in set number one on the back of this Nicole DiMartino service run. DiMartino, as we mentioned in the lead in, a senior out of Alamo, California, San Ramon Valley High School. Her serve is handled by Cheney. Galloway, what a brilliant dig by DiMartino. Keiko Oha, and on the back line there was Cheney. Now done to Malone, Wooten, Dungo. Sets Keiko Oha right at the antenna. She has to go cross court. Galloway handles it. Done. Back set to Kerman. Herrera able to get it up. Now DiMartino to Keiko Oha. It goes long. We are tied up at 10 apiece in this game early on. Living up to the billing. Cassidy Ray back on as well as Keelan Kistner. And Kistner back to serve the freshman setter. A couple of freshmen that are absolutely brilliant on this squad for Westmont. Kistner and Lexi Malone have been fantastic. Herrera sets Keiko Oha cross court from the middle. It's handled there by Galloway and swung on by Malone. Nice dig there by Wooten. Keiko Oha swings, can't get it over the net. Tough angle there trying to avoid contact with the net as well as send it cross court and she's unable to get it onto the Westmont side. 11-10, Westmont regains the lead on the back of a Keelan Kistner service run. Wooten mishandles it, and there's the first service ace of the match. It belongs to Keelan Kistner, the service ace leader for Westmont. She has 32 on the season. The Oak service ace leader, that's Moya K. Kawoha. She has 30, 32 for this freshman Kistner. Will be a name we'll be talking about a lot in the GSEC. Back set Jaden Scott on the wraparound play. It's handled by Freeze. Now Kistner sets Galloway. The Oaks block, slowing it down there for Keikoa. Dump play there just falls wide by Dungo. Right idea there by Dungo and just barely missed touch there by a fraction of the inch of an inch. That one falls wide. 13 to 10, largest lead for Westmont here in set number one. Dungo sets Kei Kowoha, finding the open space again. Kei Kowoha gets the Oaks back on the board. It's 11 to 13, and Jaden Scott back to serve. The junior middle blocker out of Escalon, California. 11 serving 13. Scott's service, sinker, Cheney, Kistner, back set. 
And a nice kill there by the freshman Malone. Malone, 177 kills now on the season in her freshman campaign. The middle blocker out of Ventura, California. And Hallie Galloway goes back to serve. Galloway cross court. Wooten, Dungo, sets Abby Briggs. Misdirection piece nicely dug by Ray and set over the net by Kistner. Dungo, long set, K Kooha. Ray is able to send it backwards to Galloway and it's a free ball. Let's see what the Oaks can set up. Herrera, Dungo, to Abby Briggs. It falls in, give her the kill. Maddie Morrison back on for Hallie Galloway. And Kristen Whitney on for Janae Wooten as Pamela Dungo goes back to serve on her senior day. 12 serving 14 for the Oaks. Dungo back to serve. Jim goes quiet. Dungo the senior, cross court. Morrison, Kistner, sets Cheney. She's blocked, able to pick it up. And it's fanned over the net. Nicely dug by Herrera. Now Briggs sets Keiko Oha cross court. Freeze, Kistner, dump play. DiMartino there, now Kay Kooha, she's blocked. DiMartino gets a hand on it, now Briggs a bump set back to Kay Kooha. Morrison gets it over, and a nice kill there. Executed by, I believe that was Brooklyn Cheney. Back on Gaddis, she goes back to serve. Alexa Gaddis, the 5'10 freshman setter. She's been utilized more as a serving specialist. 15 service aces on the season for the freshman. Down the line. Herrera, Dungo, back set to Kay Kooha and a nice dig there. Whitney trying to pick up a kill, but instead it's dug out there nicely by Kistner. Blocked by the Oaks is Chaney and a whistle blows. Chaney made contact with the net. Point Oaks hanging around tough. Are these Menlo Oaks is back on Lexi Malone for Westmont. And she'll quickly step off for freezes. Kay Kooha goes back to serve, trailing 13 to 15. Moya K. Kooha, they call her Mo. Her service. Morrison, Kistner, sets Ray, it goes long point Oaks, and they're within one. K. Kooha out of Kaneohe, Hawaii, on the island of Oahu, and a graduate of the Yelani School in Honolulu. K. Kooha serve, cross court, Cheney, Kistner, right back to Cheney. It goes long again. We're even up at 15 apiece, ladies and gentlemen. And correction there, the line judge rules that one in. So instead it is point Westmont, 16 to 14. Westmont has the lead as Patty Kerman steps in and Sydney Dunn goes back to serve. Whistle now blows. 16-14 is the score we have on the scoreboard. Believe that is correct, indeed it is. And now Dunn goes back to serve as she was out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Keikooha, Dungo to Abby Briggs, misdirection, pancake there by Morrison and now the referee sees better of it. Point Oaks, Abby Briggs there with the kill. So after the, uh, the referees overrule a call in favor of Westmont, they overrule a call in favor of the Oaks, and the Oaks back within one. 15 serving 16, Luciana Herrera back to serve. She goes with a missile handled by Morrison. Long set to Brooklyn, Cheney, DiMartino gets it over the net. Now Cheney, done, back set to Kerman, and that's masterful from the opposite. Now back on Hallie Galloway. Kerman picks up a kill there, the junior. Brooklyn Cheney back to serve. Cheney, 29 service aces on the season. Coming off a big game against William Jessup a night ago. Keiko Oha, Dungo, back set to Kristen Whitney. Give her the kill. Oaks hanging around with Westmont within one here, 16 to 17. Remember, the Oaks a little bit better rested. They had an earlier start time last night. And one and three, Westmont had to go four. So maybe advantage there in favor of the Oaks when you look at a little bit of fatigue, but that could even out real quickly with the Oaks only having one player available off the bench. Wooten, her serve dug out by Kerman and she gets to swing on it as well. Now Wooten, Dungo, long set to DiMartino. She's blocked, there's Herrera, Dungo. Long set once again, DiMartino, second time's the charm for the senior. And we're tied up at 17 apiece here in set number one.
Back to serve, Janae Wooten, the sophomore out of Humble, Texas, and a graduate of Atascacita High School. Down the line, mishandled service, ace, Janae Wooten. Timeout called by Westmont as the Oaks lead it 18 to 17 here in set number one. We'll be back with more women's volleyball action. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. We return inside Haynes Prim Pavilion. The Oaks seven points away from taking set number one from Westmont. If they were able to take a set in this match, even though the Oaks have never beaten Westmont in 15 tries, it would be seven straight matches that the Oaks have taken at least one set against Westmont. They've definitely been showing steady improvement against the squad, looking for the first win in program history. Nearly another service ace for Wooten, but Westmont somehow gets it over. Jaden Scott, give her the kill. The Oaks extend their lead to two, tying their largest of the set. 19 serving 17, thanks to some nifty service from Janae Wooten. Wooten once more. Sinker, this one's mishandled for another service ace, Janae Wooten. That's Wooten's second service ace so far, her 26th on the season. Timeout called by Westmont as the Oaks have opened up their largest lead of set number one. They lead it 20 to 17. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. Both teams return to the court as the Oaks have their largest lead of set number one. It's 20 to 17, and they're looking to close out set number one here against Westmont here in front of the Oak faithful in Haynes Prim Pavilion. Wooten to serve again. Jumper, sinker, handled by Cheney. Done. Long set to Galloway off the top of the block. DiMartino trying to get there but unable to get a full hand on it to make it 20 to 18. Oaks still lead, freeze back to serve for Westmont. And now, brief meeting over with our assistant referee over at the scorer's table. 20 to 18 is currently our score. Coach Sheldon says we've been tracking score on the bench and it should be 21 to 18. So now we're taking a look at our official scorebook. 20 to 18 is what we had on our scoreboard as well as on our broadcast graphic for you. So now we're taking a look over at the official scorebook to get you an official score. Of course, recall everything on the scoreboard, both at home for you viewers as well as up on the scoreboard for our fans at home is unofficial and we go off of the official scorebook. So. Referee gives a thumbs up that the 20 to 18 score is correct. And now giving an explanation over to Coach Sheldon. As it stands, 18 serving 20. Lauren Fries back to serve. The five foot junior out of Auburn, Washington. Indeed it remains 20 to 18. The libero back to serve.
freeze from a stance. Almost missed toss that one, had to back up to get it. Now Jaden Scott sends it over, able to dig it out nicely, done. Now Galloway, Herrera, Dungo to Kay Kowohov, running up from the back line, dug out nicely by Sidney Dunn. Freeze, back set to Galloway off the top of the block, Martino, Dungo, right back to Martino. she is blocked and it falls in. Kerman and Malone combine for the block. And it's 19 serving 20 down to the wire here in set number one. Timeout called by Coach Denise Sheldon and the Oaks. They lead it by one, 20 to 19 here in set number one. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. We return inside Haynes Prim Pavilion, but some news from the pitch. Menlo College men's soccer secures a first round bye in the Golden State Athletic Conference Tournament with a one to nothing victory over Hope International. Noah Kerr scored the goal 14 minutes into the game, assisted by Giovanni Gomez, the defending GSAC attacker of the week. The Oaks secure second place in the GSAC. Westmont won the conference on Friday. Dungo, give her the kill. That's number 25 on the season. And how about a senior day kill for your senior setter? Pamela Dungo, the Oaks ahead by two, four points away. And how sweet would it be to close it out on the serve of a senior, Nicole Martino? Her service line drive handled by Cheney. Done. Long set to Galloway. It goes long. 22 to 19, Oaks. Of course, Men's soccer not the only winners today. Men's basketball holding on to a 79-78 victory over Simpson to remain perfect at 3-0. DiMartino sends it over. Cheney, done. Back set to Kerman and just wide of the reach of Janae Wooten to make it 22-20. Cassidy, Ray, and Keelan Kistner back on. Kistner owns the lone service ace for Westmont in set number one. And the Oaks have a two-point cushion looking to close out this set number one with a victory. Kissner, the freshman out of Queen Creek, Arizona in the Chandler area. Wooten, Jaden Scott, Herrera sets it over the net and there was Ray with the dig and she is blocked by Moya K. Kawoha. 23 to 20 Oaks, can you feel the magic here inside Haynes Prim Pavilion? Jaden Scott back to serve. Junior middle blocker, her service. Line drive, sinker, mishandled there by Cheney, able to get her palms on it was Kissner and it's sent over the net. Dungo, long set to Keikoa off the top of the block, nice dig there by Cheney. Kissner to Galloway off the top of the block, Keikoa, Jaden Scott sends it high in the sky and another swing there for Dungo. Freeze, Kissner to Cassidy Ray, what a dig by Wooten, Dungo sets Briggs but it's an illegal set. The right hand got there a little bit before the left from Dungo and it makes it 23 to 21. Hallie Galloway back to serve. The Oaks two points away. Westmont doing everything to keep themselves in this set. Number one, Galloway. Dug there by Herrera. Dungo to Keikoa. Keikoa slams it down. 24-21. Back to serve for set point. The senior. Pamela Dungo. Dungo bounces the ball. She's been so consistent behind the service line for the Oaks in the past two seasons. Down the line, freeze to Kistner. Briggs sends it over. It's an illegal touch there. Oaks take the first set by a final score of 21. And how about the play from your Menlo Oaks here on Senior Day? taking on a team they have never taken down in Westmont and they look hot and on fire here 
inside Haynes Prim on senior day. 25-21, the final score in set number one. Get you the stats in the first set in just a moment, but everyone sharing the wealth for the Oaks. Kay Kooha, Jaden Scott, Nicole DiMartino, everyone getting involved. Even Pamela Dungo picking up a kill on her senior day. Taking a quick three minute break between sets here. The Oaks though, building up momentum. And a big help there from the many families in attendance today, getting loud on this Saturday afternoon volleyball action. Take you through the stats. First for the visiting Westmont Warriors, the kills leader, Patty Kerman. She has three kills, but also three errors on 11 swings behind her. Cassidy Ray, two kills, two errors on six swings. And Brooklyn Cheney, two kills on seven swings, one error. As a team, Westmont hitting at 6.4%. Five assists from Sydney Dunn, four from Keelan Kistner, one service ace from Keelan Kistner, the Diggs leader Lauren Fries with six, and one block, it was the duo Brooklyn Cheney and Kendall Kenyon. For your Oaks, the kills leader. Who else? Moya K. Koha with four, and how about a quadrad of players for the Oaks with two? Nicole DiMartino, Jaden Scott, Abby Briggs, and Kristen Whitney. The Oaks in total, 13 kills on 45 swings, just five errors to be hitting at 17.8%. 11 assists from Pamela Dungo, two service aces from Janae Wooten, seven digs each from Nicole DiMartino and Luciana Herrera. And the Oaks in total, three blocks, one and a half coming from Kay Kooha and a half each coming from Jaden Scott, Abby Briggs, and Kristen Whitney. One minute away from starting set number two, so we'll take a quick break and be right back. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. Teams return to the hardwood, they switch sides, so now Menlo College on the left-hand side of your screen, Westmont in their maroon on the right. Oaks will start the second set with Keiko Oha, Scott and Dungo up front, Herrera, Wooten, and DiMartino on the back line. For Westmont, they will go Ray, Malone, and Galloway up front on the back line, Cheney, Freeze, and Kistner. Kistner starting it off behind the line. Kistner, of course, owning the lone service ace in set number one for the Warriors. A set dominated by Menlo College's attack, 17.8% to 6.4. Dungo sets Keiko Oha through the block. Freeze was there. Kistner sets Malone. There's Herrera. Dungo sets Jaden Scott. She's blocked, but Dungo gets it high in the sky to DiMartino. Now Keiko Oha, give her the kill. Oaks take the lead in set number two, something they did not do in set number one. Didn't matter, they won it all, or won the set 25-21. Now Jaden Scott back to serve ahead, 1-0. Scott's service, just over the tape, handled by Cheney. Now Kistner, bump set to Galloway. DiMartino sends it over the net, and it's slammed down there nicely by the freshman Lexi Malone to even things up at one apiece. Back goes Hallie Galloway. Galloway, the junior out of Cardiff, California. Cross court, Wooten, Dungo, back set to Keiko. It was a bit behind her, but able to get a hand on it there nicely was Malone. And on the second touch, Ray said, I don't need a set and send it down for the kill. Two serving one, back to serve Hallie Galloway. Before that, referee once again steps over to 
take a look at our official scorebook. Not sure what the delay is for. As we mentioned, men's basketball able to survive day two of the uh, Bill Holtz Warrior Classic hosted by William Jessup University today, 79 to 78. Petra Ropek, the senior big, scoring 14 points instead, including three of three from deep. The Oaks in total shot 52% from deep in that game and 67% from three from their bench in route to the victory after falling behind 11 to nothing early. The Oaks were able to battle back, build a lead all the way up to 19 points. That lead would slowly evaporate, but eventually Menlo College would win it by one, 79-78. Let's see what the stoppage of play was for. Not quite sure, but either way it remains two to one Westmont as Holly Galloway serves. Galloway sends it over. Herrera, Dungo, back set to Keiko Oha. Boom goes the dynamite. Two all here in set number two off the Keiko Oha kill. Two all, Pamela Dungo back to serve. Dungo the senior, her service, cross court. Handled there by Morrison, bump set. Now Ray, she's able to send it hard off the hands of Herrera for the kill, Cassidy Ray. Gaddis checks back on the setter out of Campbell, graduate of Branham High School in San Jose, California, as we mentioned. Homecoming game for her, as well as Keilani Mayo, who we have not seen, but she's from San Jose as well. Herrera, Dungo to Kristen Whitney. She's blocked, but there was Briggs. Now Whitney swings on it again. A nice dig there by Morrison. Cheney with the swing. Nobody home for the Oaks. Westmont ahead 4-2. to two. A lot of Westmont faithful here in the stands as well, filling up, I guess, the side of the bleachers that the Oaks are on now. So pretty loud no matter who's serving in this game. Great atmosphere for volleyball here on Saturday. Mishandled by DiMartino. Kenyon gets a swing on it. Herrera, DiMartino to Keiko Oha, mishandled by Gaddis. What a pancake, and Gaddis gets it over. Briggs, Dungo to Keiko Oha. It's behind her, and another diving dig by Cheney. Ray sends it over with the southpaw. DiMartino, Briggs, Keiko Oha cross court. There's Cheney. Kistner, back to Cheney. She's blocked, by, and it falls. Does it fall in or wide? Referee originally calls it in, then the referee points to Westmont. It is indeed a Westmont point. Five serving two, Gaddis holds serve. But how about that pancake there from Kistner as Gaddis sends it into the net, ending the Westmont momentum there. Back on for Westmont, it's number 14, Lexi Malone, and she then quickly steps off for Freeze, the libero. Moya Kekoha back to serve the Oaks Trail by two. Three serving five here in set number two. Kekoha handled by Cheney. Now Kistner, and it's blocked back down by Abby Briggs. Oaks back within one. Kekoha holds serve. Remember, the Oaks did not dominate at the start of set number one. It was really back and forth until the 20 to 17 mark, the Oaks opened up a lead there. Westmont couldn't bounce back. Does Keiko Oha have a service ace? No, she doesn't. Kenyon gets it over. Keiko Oha sets Whitney. It's handled by Kistner. Now Freeze getting to set to Cassidy Ray. And that left arm so strong on Cassidy Ray. Something we've become accustomed to seeing the past three seasons for Westmont. She's just sort of a calming presence for Westmont. When they need a kill, they need to stop momentum of their opposing team. They set Cassidy Ray, and nine times out of ten, it's for a kill. Keiko Oha, Herrera to DiMartino through the block. How did she do that? Seemingly an impenetrable block there between, that was Patty Kerman and Kendall Kenyon, and DiMartino finding the hole, splitting the two. And it's five serving six, Herrera to serve. Morrison, done to Cheney. She's blocked. And the block goes off of our referee there. So it's a kill for Cheney as Holly Galloway steps on for Madeline Morrison. Beg your pardon, Madison Morrison. And Brooklyn Cheney back to serve. Cheney 
DiMartino, Dungo, long back set there to Whitney and she gets the kill. The Oaks looking good. You know, they're not hitting around the Westmont block. They're just finding weak spots in the block for their kills. You can see Coach McGulpin are, I mean, understandably frustrated with her block there. Usually a steady force for Westmont. Wooten back to serve. She has two service aces. This one's handled cleanly by Cheney. Now Galloway over the top of the block. There's Herrero. Dungo to Jaden Scott. It falls wide. 8 serving 6, Lauren Freeze back to serve. Freeze the libero out of Auburn, Washington in the greater Seattle area. Floater handled there by Kay Kooha. Dungo to DiMartino. Off the hands of Dunn. Cheney gets to it. Can Dunn get it over the net? It's going to take all her might, and that one falls short point Oaks. Heroic effort there by Sydney Dunn, the sophomore setter. And she had to go overhead, had no vision of the net, and she was a good 15 feet behind that line trying to get it over the net. DiMartino serves it, handled by Galloway. Dunn sets Kerman off the hands of Scott, and then she sends it down. Freeze, long bump set to Galloway, off the block. There's DiMartino, sends it high in the sky to Dungo. Now Kei Kooha. Kei Kooha's attack handled by Cheney. Tip ball there by Malone. Now Dungo sets Keiko Oha off the top of the block. Cheney sends it towards the net. Dunn contorting away from the net. Galloway gets a swing on it. Dungo, dump piece. There's Freeze. Now Dunn, back set to Kerman. It falls wide. Point Oaks. We are tied up at eight apiece here in set number two. The Oaks staying poised. You know, they fell behind by about three here in set number two. Didn't count themselves out of the match. Just staying calm, staying focused. Looking to keep that championship hope alive. DiMartino sends it over. Freeze. Done to Malone. She's blocked. And it's free balled over. DiMartino. Dungo. Jaden Scott on the wraparound. She finds that back corner. Give her the kill. Oaks regain the lead here. 9-8 here in set number two. Nicole DiMartino. Starting us off on this long service run, the senior out of Alamo. Another line drive handled by Cheney. Dunn, running set to Galloway, and that's a big kill from Hallie Galloway. Cassidy Ray back on, as is Keelan Kistner. Nine all here in set number two. Kistner back to serve. Still anybody's match here. Oaks leading one set apiece, but these two teams matching each other attack for attack. Kistner sends a sinker over. Kei Kooha, Dungo, right back to Kei Kooha off the hands of the blockers. Confusion, Westmont keeps it up, but it's a free ball. Wooten, Dungo, long set to Kei Kooha. Give her the kill! 10-9, Oaks lead. Jaden Scott back to serve. Scott, new to the service rotation for the Oaks. The Oaks opting to serve with her instead of Abby Briggs. They're both middle blockers, not seeing too much service time. But without Lauren Schaefer, they lose that. An attack goes long by Lexi Malone. Of course, Lauren Schaefer, a brilliant server for the Oaks. As a timeout is called, Oaks lead at 11 to 9 here in set number two. We'll be right back. You're watching Menlo College Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network.
11 serving nine, Menlo College. We have all the momentum here in front of the hometown fans. In set number two, they took set one by a final score of 25-21. Jaden Scott back to serve. Jump serve here, no spin on that one, handled by Cheney. Galloway bumps Ray, there was Wooten. Now a set to Abby Briggs, she had just midair and is able to get a hand on it. And now Lexi Malone with a big kill for Westmont. Galloway goes back to serve for the Warriors. Junior on the squad, one of the few upperclassmen they have. She goes cross court. Herrera, Dungo running set to Kei Kooha. It's blocked. There's Herrera. Kei Kooha gets up at the net but sends it wide to even things up at 11 apiece. 11 all here in set number two. Westmont has fought back into it behind the serve of Halle Galloway. Galloway, another service away. Keiko Oha, Dungo, right back to Keiko Oha. Give her the kill. Back on for the Oaks, Kristen Whitney. Galloway steps off for Morrison. Pamela Dungo goes back to serve. The Oaks holding on to a narrow 12 to 11 lead here in set number two. Cross court, Morrison, freeze. Back set to Cheney, she sends it into the net, Point Oaks. Don't go back to serve again, the Oaks lead back up to two, looking to extend it to their largest of set number two, that would be three points. They trailed by three earlier in this set. Dungo, line drive over the tape and that's a service ace for your senior setter, Pamela Dungo. 14-11, Oaks have the lead here in set two. Dungo once again, the Oaks with their largest lead in set two. Floater. Handled by Cheney. Kistner sets Malone. She's blocked there with Cheney. Right back to Malone. She's blocked again. Kristen Whitney with the stuff. 15-11 Oaks. Timeout on the floor. Here in set two, the Oaks lead at 15-11. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. Fifteen, eleven, Oaks here in set number two. Nothing looking like it's going to stop this Oaks team here on Senior Day, trying to keep GSAC regular season championship hopes alive. Dungo back to serve. Fifteen, eleven, the Oaks' largest lead in set number two. I believe it matches their largest lead in the match. Dungo, freeze handles it. Kistner. Back set to Cassidy Ray. There's that calming presence we talked about for Westmont. She picks up the kill. Back on is Gaddis. Gaddis goes back to serve. 12 serving 15. The service specialist for Westmont. Gaddis sends it cross court. Herrera. Dungo back set to Keikoa with the soft stuff. Morrison was ready. Kisner a back set to Ray again. What a dig there by Herrera. Long set to Keikoa. And she has the kill. Keikoa goes back to serve. 16 to 12. Keikoa's service. Handled there by Cheney. Kistner 
sets Kenyon. Keikoha fills the space. Briggs with a swing. Back onto the outside. DiMartino sends it down. And there's Freeze. Just bumped over by Cheney. Free ball opportunity for the Oaks. Dungo, back set to Kristen Whitney. Lauren Freeze finds that back corner, is able to cover it. Ray is blocked by Abby Briggs and Nicole DiMartino. 17-12, Oaks with their largest lead of the match. It's five. Keiko holds serve on her senior day. Cross court. Handled there by Morrison. Kistner sets Kenyon. Keiko Oha gets low for the dig. Now Whitney cross court. Able to get there Cassidy Ray. Morrison bump set to Cheney. Now Dungo. Keiko Oha sets DiMartino over the block. Cheney. Kistner to Kenyon again. Dungo gets low. And Keiko Oha just bumps it over the net. Now Briggs tries to swing on it and she's blocked. Nice play there by Kenyon. Kendall Kenyon making her presence felt. The freshman middle blocker out of Newport Beach, graduate of Saddleback Valley Christian, and now Sydney Dunn back to serve. Kay Kowoha, Dungo, sets Abby Briggs, who slams it down. 18 to 13, it's all about the Oaks here inside Ains Prim. 7 points away are the Oaks from taking a commanding two set to none lead. Dunn sets Kenyon and unable to get both hands on it is Kay Kawoha. Kenyon once again ending the Oaks momentum and back on Hallie Galloway. Kendall Kenyon, the 6-1 freshman, one of two freshman middle blockers and both her and Lexi Malone, the other freshman middle blockers presence felt. Kay Kawoha, Dungo Back set to Kristen Whitney. Cheney digs it out nicely. Dunn long set to Galloway cross court. There is Kay Kooha. Dungo to Jaden Scott. Can the Warriors get to it? They get a second touch and send it out of play. Point Oaks. Janae Wooten back on. Six points away are the Oaks. 19 to 14 they lead in set number two. Janae Wooten back to serve. Wooten. The sophomore, she has two service aces already today. Lines up, her service down the line, dug out by Galloway, Dunn to Kerman. Miscommunication there by the Oaks as Wooten and Herrera bumped into each other. Not sure who got their hands on it, but whoever it was sent it wide. And it's 15 serving 19, Lauren Freeze back to serve. Freeze. Handled there by Keiko Oha. Dungo right back to Keiko Oha. It goes long. Swinging from the back line was Keiko Oha. As we mentioned the first time Freeze served, it looks like she throws it up behind her, but really that's just her style. She goes way back into the cookie jar and then it comes back to serve it. Timeout called by Coach Denise Sheldon as the Oaks lead diminished to three. We'll be back. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. Oaks hang on to a three-point lead following the Denise Sheldon timeout. Coach Sheldon has one more, both burned already by Coach Ruth McGolpin and the Warriors. Lewin frees back to serve again as she's cut the Oaks lead down to three. It's 16 serving 19. Herrera, Dungo to DiMartino, give her the kill. Remember, DiMartino's career high in kills is 12. I believe by my count, she's at about five right now through two sets. And she goes back to serve. DiMartino gets it over the tape. 
Cheney, Dunn to Kerman. Nicely dug out there by the setter, Dungo. DiMartino, bump set to Keiko Oha. She's blocked. Now Dungo sets Keiko Oha once again. She's blocked this time. Kerman sends it down to the hardwood. Cassidy Ray back on. Keelan Kistner back on. And it is 20 to 17 Oaks here. But Kistner back to serve for the Westmont Warriors. Kissner, the line drive, handled by Herrera. Dungo, back set to Jaden Scott. She slams it down, Cheney's ready. Now Cassidy Ray comes up with the southpaw kill. And that makes it 18 serving 20. Kissner back to serve again. Mishandled there by Herrera. That's a service ace, her second. Keelan Kisner, the freshman, 33 to her name in her freshman campaign. 19 serving 20, Kisner clawing the Warriors back into this one. Cross court, handled there by Wooten. Dungo gets up at the net, she's blocked by Galloway. We're tied up at 20 apiece. And I believe here comes the timeout, indeed it is. Timeout called by Coach Denise Sheldon. It's anyone set here in set number two, 20 all. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. Little Rick Astley action going on. Never gonna give you up, and hopefully the Oaks never gonna give up this lead and momentum. We're tied up at 20 here in set two, but the Oaks ahead one set to none. Looking to close out their senior day in their final game at home, at least final regular season game at home, with a victory over the Westmont Warriors, what would be the first one in program history. 20 all here in set number two. Both teams have burned both timeouts here and back to serve Keelan Kistner. And another service ace for Kistner. Westmont regains their first lead since nine to eight. Oaks looking to regroup here. No more timeouts to be used by Coach Sheldon. Kistner service again, cross court. DiMartino, Jaden Scott, bump set to Herrera. It's a free ball. Cheney, back set, Cassidy Ray. Off the hands of Kay Kowoha for the kill. 22 to 20, Westmont leads. Kistner again back to serve. Cross court. DiMartino, Dungo to Kay Kowoha. Gets it through the block and that's a not characteristic, but a kill nonetheless for Kay Kowoha. 21-22, can the Oaks fight back into this one? Jaden Scott back to serve. Scott's service, handled there by Galloway. Kistner sets Malone. The Oaks saying that's an illegal hit. Keiko Oha is blocked. DiMartino picks up the dig. Keiko Oha again cross court. Galloway gets it over, it's off the net. And Cassidy Ray gives the Oaks a free ball opportunity. Kay Kooha, give her the kill. I believe they won't call the kill. They'll say Cassidy Ray there made contact with the net. But either way, the Oaks get the point. We're tied up at 22 apiece here in set number two. Can the Oaks take a two set to none lead at home? Jaden Scott sends it down, handled by Cheney. Bump set, Kistner to Galloway. She is blocked. 23-22, the Oaks fight back and regain the lead. Jaden Scott and Moya Keikooha combined for the block. 23-22, Oaks. Jaden Scott sends it over. Cheney and 
Another block for Briggs and Kay Oha. Set point coming up for the Oaks. Jaden Scott to serve it. Jaden Scott service into the net. And the Oaks may have to do it on a defensive possession. Hallie Galloway back to serve, trailing 23-24. The Galloway serve goes cross court. Herrera, Dungo, back set to Keiko Oha. She's blocked. The Oaks keep it up, and it's bumped over there by Herrera. Galloway, Kistner to Malone. Bonus volleyball coming up in set number two. Galloway back to serve again. Galloway goes cross court. Herrera, Dungo, long back set. Keiko Oha, give her the kill. Madison Morrison back on for some defensive footing for Westmont. Kristen Whitney back on for some offensive prowess for the Oaks as Pamela Dungo, the senior, Back to serve, set point here in set number two. Trying to give the Oaks a two set to none lead. Dungo's service gets over the net. Cheney, Kistner to Malone. The Oaks have to get it over on this touch, they do. Kistner sets Malone again, it's blocked by Briggs. Ray, long set to Cheney, she's blocked. And somehow Galloway gets to it. Freeze sets Cassidy Ray off the top of the block. Whitney, Dungo, to Kay Kooha, give her the kill. Oaks takes set two by a final score of 26 to 24, and they lead it two sets to none over the Westmont Warriors, keeping their GSAC championship hopes alive. What a set from the Oaks, who found themselves down early, battled back, and took a commanding two set to lead, two set to none lead coming off of that Moya K Kowoha kill. Take you through the stats. Through two sets, first for the Warriors, Cassidy Ray leads the way, eight kills on 17 swings, only three errors behind her, five kills on 14 swings, three errors from Brooklyn Cheney. As a team, Westmont hitting at 11.5%, 26 kills on 96 swings. 15 errors. The assist leader, 11 from Keelan Kistner. Three service aces from Keelan Kistner and 13 digs from Brooklyn Cheney. The block leader, one and a half coming from Kendall Kenyon, the freshman. Four year Oaks, Moya Keikoha, 13 kills through two sets on 44 swings. Five errors behind her, five kills from DiMartino on 14 swings, just two errors. As a team, the Oaks hitting 20.2%, 30 kills on 94 swings, just 11 errors, 25 assists from Pamela Dungo, two service aces from Janae Wooten, 13 digs from Nicole DiMartino, and three, two and a half blocks, beg your pardon, from Abby Briggs, all five block assists. Three and a half minute break for you, then we'll be back for set number three. Will it be the set? that decides the fate of the Westmont Warriors and the Menlo Oaks. It's coming up next here on the Menlo College Sports Network.
We return here inside Haynes Prim Pavilion where the Oaks are playing like a team possessed. Will their first win against Westmont College in program history be a sweet victory? They're up two sets to none right now. And man, oh man, do they look good here with the fans behind them inside Haynes Prim Pavilion. They'll have the first serve here in set number three coming from Nicole DiMartino. The six on the court for Westmont. Lexi Malone, Patty Kerman, Sydney Dunn, Lauren Fries, Brooklyn Chaney, and Hallie Galloway. Four year Oaks, Jaden Scott, Pamela Dungo, Moya Keiko Oha, Janae Wooten, Luciana Herrera, and Nicole DiMartino. Getting ready to start set number three. DiMartino has the honors to start it off. And before we start, we will have some time to pick up some moisture along the scorer's table here. Make sure nobody gets hurt. They're always a scary sight when you see a player go down. Luckily, we haven't seen it. Good call by the referee there to make sure that's cleaned up. That's in play, you know? You say, why would you have to mop up outside of the lines of court? If a pass goes in that direction, either Westmont or Menlo can play it as close to the table as you want. And you maybe see that in, for example. Now you can hear the fans getting loud in here. Now the whistle's blown in, and DiMartino's serve is down the line and handled by Cheney. Dunn back set to Kerman, she's blocked. Jaden Scott starts it off with a one nothing lead for the Oak. The nice roof there from Jaden Scott. one nothing Oaks, DiMartino holds serve here in set number three. Oaks lead it two sets to none. DiMartino gets it over the tape. Galloway down to get it, another block. How about it, Jaden Scott, two for two to start set three. Jaden Scott has been brilliant this year. The junior middle blocker blocks just about everything at the net. Maybe you can credit senior Emily Sonata for her mentorship for the junior Scott. Keiko Oha, Chaney is able to dig it out, freeze. Over to Galloway, it goes through the hands of DiMartino. Westmont's on the board here in set number three. It's one to two, West, uh, one to two. the Oaks lead. Westmont served, Keelan Kistner back to serve. Kistner, a sinker, handled nicely by Herrera. Jaden Scott swings on it off the top of the block. There's Kistner, freeze. Bump set to Cassidy, Ray, she's blocked. Jaden Scott again, but a nice kill there by Lexi Malone. Jaden Scott, an absolute animal at the net, blocking everything in sight. So the Warriors just off to swing away from her and it pays off to all. Herrera, Dungo, long set to Keiko, oh, she can't get it over the net. Westmont takes the lead here in set number three. It's three to two Warriors. Kistner again to serve. She's been responsible for the longest service runs in now all three sets for the Warriors. Kistner floats it over. Wooten, Dungo, back set to Jaden Scott. She is blocked there by the combination of Galloway and Malone. Westmont going on a little run here of their own. The Warriors ahead four to two. Kistner sends it over, Wooten. Dungo, Take Kooha, give her the kill. As much of a calming presence Cassidy Ray is for Westmont, that's how the Oaks feel about Moya K. Kooha. They set their senior outside hitter, and she almost always comes up with a big swing. Now, it's not always a kill, but very accurate landing it in as the serve from Jaden Scott lands out 5-3 to three Westmont. Hallie Galloway back to serve. Galloway goes cross court, Wooten, Dungo, back set to Kei Kooha over the top of the block, there's Kistner, Freeze, 
back set to Cheney cross court. Heroic dig there by DiMartino to Kei Kooha. She's blocked. Briggs is there. Wooten sets Kei Kooha. Second time's a charm as she caught Galloway in no man's land. Whitney back on for Wooten and Dungo back to serve. Oaks trail by one. Four serving five. Senior Pamela Dungo behind the line. Her service gets off the ticker tape. Handled by Cheney. Back set to Cassidy Ray. Blocked again. Miscommunication there by Westmont leads to a free ball. DiMartino. Dungo to Abby Briggs who slams it down. And the Oaks have tied it up at five all. Five apiece. Dungo holds serve after getting some words from her coach, Denise Sheldon, on the serve location. Let's see if it pays off after that last serve. Absolutely a beauty from DiMartino. This one gets over, handled by Cheney. Right back to Cheney, goes with the tip, and Kei Kooha gets caught flat-footed. 6 serving five, back to serve. That's Gaddis, number 10, Alexa Gaddis. Six serving five, Gaddis sends it down the line. Herrera, Dungo, back set to Keiko Ojai, it goes long. Oaks fans wanting a touch call. Referee not giving it. The ball blown back into play for Gaddis to serve now ahead seven to five are the Warriors. Floater, DiMartino, Dungo, back set to Keiko Oha. And there is Kistner. The Oaks got to make sure they don't get one dimensional. Just setting Keiko Oha. Dungo, she will set Keiko Oha, but first, I believe that's an illegal set. Something you don't see every day called on Pamela Dungo. Largest lead for Westmont here in set three. It's eight serving five. Gaddis again. Herrera, Dungo, Kristen Whitney, the Oaks opting not to go Keiko this time. Gaddis, back set Cassidy Ray, getting her hands on it was Herrera, but not high enough to pass to anyone. Nine to five Westmont. Timeout called by Coach Denise Sheldon and the Oaks as they trail by four here in set number three. Ahead two sets to nine. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. Alexa Gaddis continues this service run that's pushed the Warriors ahead by four. It's nine serving five. Coming out of the timeout, Keiko Oha. Dungo, right back to Keiko Oha through the block, give her the kill. That's what the Oaks needed coming out of the timeout. And now Moya Keiko Oha goes back to serve, but first a substitute here. Lexi Malone back on the court for Westmont. Keiko Oha back to serve. Six serving nine. The Oaks could really use a signature Moya Keiko Oha long service run. Serves handled by Cheney. Now an attack in the middle from Kenyon. Dungo, back set by Keiko Oha to DiMartino. Cross court, it goes wide. Not many of those today for the Oaks. It seems like when there are attacking errors, they've been going long rather than wide. But that one by DiMartino sent just a bit wide. 10 serving six. First time Westmont has won the race to double digits. And Dunn goes back to serve. Whitney. 
unable to get that one over the net. It's 11 to six, largest lead of the match for Westmont. It's five points. Sydney Dunn once again to serve. Kay Kawoha, Dungo, bump set to DiMartino. Handled there by Morrison. Now Dunn, back set to Kerman. Dungo, Kay Kawoha, bump set over to Kristen Whitney. Goes wide of the block. And that one, for sure a touch, not seen by the referee. Oaks can't believe it. Coach Sheldon can't believe it. The fans can't believe it. I guess the referees can. They give the point to Westmont. They've doubled up on the Oaks 12 to six. Dunn serves it. Keiko Oha, Dungo to Abby Briggs. And she says enough with that nonsense. Point Oaks. That makes it seven serving 12. Can Herrera get on a big service run? Luciana Herrera, the junior out of Murrieta, California. Down the line, Morrison. Down attack and a kill from Brooklyn Chaney. Westmont finding their footing here in set number three. And now Hallie Galloway back on for Madison Morrison. Chaney back to serve. Ahead 13 to seven. Westmont looking dominant for the first time. Maybe this will spark the Oaks, a service error. And now Pamela Dungo back to serve as Janae Wooten comes on. Beg your pardon, Janae Wooten checks on and goes back to serve. Wooten, she has the service ace lead for the Oaks today. Sinker, almost another one there. Dunn jumping set to Kerman, it's blocked. Kerman sets. And the Oaks can't believe an illegal set wasn't called. I'm right there with them. Right hand definitely got there before the left for Kenyon, but it is not called. And Lauren Freeze back to serve. 14 serving eight. Wooten mishandled. Whistle blows. Dungo made contact with the net. 15 8 Westmont. The Oaks still have an eclipse double digits here in set number two. Freeze back to serve. Once again, the libero. Freeze. And that one falls in, beautifully placed by Freeze. Second timeout called by Denise Sheldon as Westmont has doubled up on the Oaks again. It's 16 to eight here in set number three. Oaks lead it two sets to nine. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. The message clear from Coach Denise Sheldon. You are the better team in this match, Menlo College. You are up two to nothing on Westmont. Stop giving them more confidence than they deserve. You are still in this set. Keiko Oha, Herrera, bump set to DiMartino. And it's handled there by Cheney. Dunn sets Galloway, give her the kill. Off the block. Nobody on for the Oaks. They were reading it as if a block was not coming and just the slightest touch there at the net. I believe it was Jaden Scott altered Keiko Oha's run towards the ball. Freeze again to serve now. 17 serving eight. Keiko Oha, Dungo to DiMartino cross court. There's Freeze mishandled somehow. Uh, Dunn is able to get a hand on it, send it over the net. Now DiMartino tip ball, Dunn, Freeze. Back set to Galloway. Herrera, Dungo, back to DiMartino off the top of the net. Galloway sends it over. Jaden Scott tries to slam it and gets it right back for a kill there. Malone. 
Lexi Malone makes it 18 to eight, the first double digit lead of the match for Westmont. Serve goes long, 18 to nine. Can the Oaks claw their way back into this one? Westmont seven points away from taking set three. Back to the top of the Oaks service order, it's Nicole DiMartino. DiMartino to serve. Handled there by Galloway. Now done, right back to Galloway. Kei Kooha, Dungo to Jaden Scott. Misdirection, nicely dug out by Freeze. Galloway bump set, and it goes wide, point Oaks. Here come the Oaks, trailing by eight. What do they have left in the tank here in set number three? DiMartino once again, line drive. Handled by Chaney, done. Sets Galloway, it's blocked and falls out of bounds. The kill to Halle Galloway, it's 19 to 10. This is always a question mark for the coaches. Do you want to expend all your energy trying to get back into this set three, or maybe save some and just start fresh in set number four? We'll see how the Oaks play this trailing 19 to 10 in set three. DiMartino, Kei Kooha to Jaden Scott from the middle, handled by Freeze. It was a nice attack there. Now Galloway. Herrera, Dungo, to Jaden Scott, and it falls long. No touch called there. Oaks, once again, that's three or four calls that they believe have been missed. And it's now 20 to 10 as Patty Kerman goes running into the locker room. Not sure what that's about. Kissner, Dungo, to Jaden Scott off the top of the block. Whistle blows, net violation there called on Lexi Malone. The Oaks get a point here to make it 11, serving 20. Jaden Scott back to serve. 11, serving 20. The Oaks trail by nine here in set number three. Scott down the line, handled by Galloway. She'll get the swing on it as well. And mishandled there by DiMartino. Briggs lays out trying to get to it. She cannot back to a 10-point lead for Westmont. Holly Galloway back to serve. Galloway service, cross court. Herrera, Dungo to Kei Kooha. Over the block, give her the kill. It wasn't the rocket we're used to, but a nice finesse piece there and nobody home for Westmont College. Kristen Whitney back on for Janae Wooten. And Pamela Dungo back to serve as the Oaks continue to trail by nine. It's 12 serving 21. Cross court, Morrison, Kissner to Cheney for the kill. 22 to 12, back on Gaddis. Remember, it was the Gaddis serve that put Westmont up by so many the, her first time around in the rotation. Now, Alexis Gaddis looks to close out set three. Herrera, Kei Kooha to Kristen Whitney, cross court. Morrison, Kissner sets Cassidy Ray for the kill. Gaddis back to serve again. 23 serving 12. Floater, Herrera. Dungo, back set to Kei Kooha, give her the kill. Splits two blockers to get the Oaks back on the board. Two points away are Westmont. See if the Oaks can extend this set. Kei Kooha back to serve. Cheney, Kissner to Cassidy Ray. And with her six foot three frame, she gets head and shoulders over the net there and just has great visibility. Saw the open space on the hardwood and back to serve set point, Sydney Dunn. So barring a miracle, it doesn't look like there will be a senior day sweep for the Oaks, but still will take a set lead into set four. Kristen Whitney picks up the kill there to keep the Oaks in set three. Luciana Herrera now back to serve. Oaks with their backs against the wall here. 24 to 14, they trail. Cross court, mishandled by Morrison. Dunn's able to get their free ball opportunity for the Oak. Herrera, Dungo, 
Back set to Kristen Whitney who sends it down to the hardwood. Oaks not going down without a fight here. Timeout called by Coach Ruth McGolpin and the Warriors. 24-15, the Oaks Trail here in set number three. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. Herrera back to serve for the Oaks, trailing by nine in their backs against the wall here in set number three. Cross court, sinker. Is it a service ace? Somehow Cheney gets it over. Nicole DiMartino, freeze, able to bump set it over to Cheney. Herrera, Dungo to DiMartino again. Tip ball handled by Dunn. Morrison bump set to Cheney, and there is DiMartino. Dungo, this time goes back set to Kristen Whitney, splits the block, give her the kill. The Oaks building up some momentum here in set number three. 24-16, they still trail. Still a long way to go. Handled there by Cheney, done, right back to Cheney. Kay Kuoha, Dungo, back set to Whitney again, goes with the tip ball. Handled there nicely by Dunn, but it has to be free balled over and the Oaks get an unlucky break. The free ball coming over from Cheney, barely trickled over the tape and Westmont takes set three, 25 to 16. Well, it wouldn't be an Oaks-Westmont game if it didn't go at least four sets. So set number four coming up, the Oaks drop the third set, 25-16 to Westmont as they finally come back down to earth, do the Oaks and Westmont regrouped in that third set to take the set W. Take a look at the stats. Through three sets, the kills leader Cassidy Ray with 10. Behind her, Brooklyn Cheney with nine. And six from Hallie Galloway. As a team, Westmont hitting at 15.9%. 38 kills on 128 swings. 18 attacking errors. 17 assists from Keelan Kistner. Three service aces from Keelan Kistner. 15 digs from Brooklyn Cheney. And as a team, six total blocks for Westmont, including two total from Lexi Malone. For your Oaks, the kills leader, Moya Keikoha with 18. She's now sixth all time in Menlo College history. She needed 18 to get to that number. Behind her, six from Abby Briggs and six from Kristen Whitney. As a team, the Oaks, 41 kills on 128 swings, 19 errors. They're hitting it a 17.2% clip. 36 assists from Pamela Dungo. Two service aces, Janae Wooten. 17 digs, Nicole DiMartino, and two and a half blocks total from Abby Briggs and three from Moya K. Koha. 90 seconds away from the start of set four. We'll take a quick break. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network.
both teams return to the court here for set number four. Will this be the decisive set for the Oaks? Or will Westmont continue their hot play from set three and force a set number five? Westmont will serve first now on the right-hand side of the court. See, I believe it will be Kistner to serve first. The six on the floor for your Oaks, Dungo, Scott, Keikooha, Herrera, Wooten, and DiMartino. The six on for Westmont, Kistner, Cheney, Freeze, Ray, Galloway, and Malone. Kistner to serve first. Three service aces to her name so far today. And set number four is underway. Cross court, DiMartino, Dungo to Kay Kooha, just in the air. Kistner's there for the dig. Freeze sets Cassidy Ray. She's blocked by Jaden Scott, but Freeze fills up the open space. And a nice kill there. I believe it was Galloway. One nothing, Westmont takes the lead in set four. Kistner again, DiMartino, Herrera, bump set to Kei Kooha on the near side, Cheney was there, now Kistner back set to Cassidy Ray off the hands of Kei Kooha for a kill. Two nothing Westmont. Oaks still looking frazzled, Westmont play heating up here in set four just like it did in set three. DiMartino again, Dungo, dump ball, Malone, Kistner to Galloway. It falls wide, Point Oaks. They're on the board here in set four. Jaden Scott now back to serve for the Oaks, trailing by one. One serving two. Still early on here in set number four. Brief moment there to clean up some moisture on the court on the Westmont side. Scott again. Handled by Galloway. Kistner, back set there to Malone who had to adjust mid-run. Dungo sets Keikooha, tip ball. Nobody home for Westmont. Well done by Moya Keikooha to even things up at two. Jaden Scott back to serve again. Scott the junior out of Escalon. Of course it will be her senior night next year as she sends one into the low part of the net. Little chuckle there from Kay Koala. That one nearly took her head off. Galloway goes back to serve as Scott steps off for Herrera the libero. Wooten passes it over to Kay Koala. Now Abby Briggs. Cheney's there to handle the tip ball. Kistner sets Malone for the kill. Four serving two. Galloway back to serve. Sinker, service ace, nobody even touched it for Menlo. Galloway picks up the service ace, 5-2. Westmont leads. Galloway sends it to the middle, handled by Herrera. Keiko Oha gets high there and slams it down. Kistner gets a hand on it, sends it up into the rafters and it comes back down hard off the rafters. Nobody home for Westmont. And that'll give you some momentum. Moya K. Kooha with the kill. Three serving five. Pamela Dungo back to serve. The Dungo service down the line. Mishandled by Cheney, but Kistner's there. Cheney gets a swing on it. There's K. Kooha. Dungo right back to K. Kooha. Off the block. Give her the kill. Four serving five. Here come the Oaks. Dungo back to serve, trying to tie things up at five. Pamela Dungo, another service down the line, mishandled by Cheney. Kistner's able to get there, and Cassidy Ray somehow gets a kill there off the hands of Abby Briggs. And here comes Alexis Gaddis, the worst nightmare for the Oaks behind the line as Westmont leads it six to four. Gaddis serve, cross court. Whitney, Dungo. Back set to Kei Kooha. Bump set there and a free ball over. Oaks have the opportunity to set something up. 
Kristen Whitney on the wraparound give a kill to the junior opposite out of, I believe she's out of Folsom, California. If not, she's out of Folsom Lake College. Kristen Whitney there with the kill. Five serving six, Kay Kuoha back to serve. Floater, Morrison, set there to Cassidy Ray. She's blocked. How about that, Nicole DiMartino? Six all here in set four. Kay Kuoha holds serve. Floater, just falling on the other side of the net for a service error on Kay Kuoha. Not characteristic for her. She has the fewest service errors for the team for the Oaks, but picks up one there. The Oaks trail seven to six with number seven, Sydney Dunn, back to serve for Westmont. Jump serve there. Herrera, Dungo, Whitney. The Oaks get it over. And beg your pardon, that was Briggs. Now Cheney swings on it. She's blocked. Morrison, Dunn. In the middle, I believe that's Kerman. No, that's Kenyon. Briggs swings on it. Freeze was ready on the black line. Dunn to Cheney. It falls wide. Point Oaks. One referee signaled in. Definitely the referee was closer there. The one who was further away, or the referee was closer signaled out. Referee further signaled in. Head referee points in favor of the Oaks. Now meeting with the captain, Lauren Freeze. And it indeed will be Point Oaks. Seven all here in set number four. As we mentioned, this game living up to the billing. Seven all. Herrera serves into the net. Hallie Galloway back on for Madison Morrison and back to serve Brooklyn Cheney. Westmont ahead by one. Cheney jump serve. It goes long. Point Oaks. Eight all. Janae Wooten back on for the Oaks. She'll go back to serve with two service aces already. Wooten trying to get some separation for the Oaks. Wooten the sophomore. Her serve goes long. So that won't do it for the Oaks as Lauren Freeze goes back to serve for Westmont. The two teams trading service errors here in set number four. Freeze, handled by Herrera. DiMartino to Keiko Oha on the back line. Morrison, Freeze. Back set there to Galloway. Herrera, Dungo to Jaden Scott. Gets the fingertips on it. Can Westmont get it over? Free ball opportunity. Wooten, Dungo to DiMartino. Was there a touch? No, there was not. Westmont wins the race to 10 once again. It's 10-8 Warriors. Warriors trying to play senior day spoilers here. K. Kowoha. Dungo to DiMartino, it's blocked. Kei Koha is there. Dungo to DiMartino again. She's blocked again. There's Kei Koha again. DiMartino backs at Jaden Scott. It falls long. Timeout called by the Oaks. They trail 11-8 here in set number four. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. We return inside Antrim Pavilion. Now the Westmont fans getting a little rowdy. Ahead 11 to eight in set number four. Lauren Freeze, the libero, holds serve. Oaks break their huddle back onto the court. 
At this point, this would be a time where we usually see Lauren Schaefer possibly subbed in just for a change of pace for the Oaks, but not available today. Lauren Fries back to serve. Herrera, Dungo to Jaden. Scott slams it down. DiMartino back to serve for the Oaks. Down two here in set number four. DiMartino sends it over with a line drive. Galloway done to Kerman off the top of the block. Dungo, DiMartino, back set, Keiko Oha. She is blocked and it falls wide. 11 to 10, here come the Oaks. Timeout called by Coach McGulpin and the Warriors. 11 to 10. The Oaks Trail here in set four. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. Both teams break their huddles. Back onto the court is the Oaks trail by one here in set number four. Nicole DiMartino helping claw the Oaks back into this set as they trail by one. Can the Oaks pull even or even ahead against the Westmont Warriors here in set number four? Set over. Done. Sets Galloway. Give her the kill off the hands of Pamela Dungo. Valiant effort from the 5-4 setter getting up at the net. And she gets her hands there on the swing as well, but not enough to send it back onto the Westmont side. They're back ahead by two, 12 to 10. Back to the top of their service order, it's Keelan Kistner. Kistner, the freshman out of Queen Creek, Arizona. And she has a service ace mishandled by DiMartino. Fourth service ace of the game for Kistner. Kistner once again. This time down the line, it falls wide. Oaks getting an assist there from Kistner. It's a two point game, Westmont leads. Jaden Scott back to the top of the Oaks service order. Scott floats it over. Cheney, Kistner to Galloway, she's blocked. Nice dig there, and Galloway sends it over. The Oaks keep it up, no they do not, whistle blows. Fourteen serve and eleven Westmont leads. Galloway back to serve. Cross court. Herrera. Dungo. Back set. Keiko Oha. Nicely dug out there by Kistner. Freeze. Sets Cheney. Keiko Oha is there again. Dungo to Keiko Oha. It falls wide. The Oaks falling apart here in set number four. It's 15-11 Westmont. Galloway to serve. Herrera, Dungo, sets Abby Briggs, it goes long. Unforced error after unforced error. And no, they will call a touch, Point Oaks. Coach McGulpin can't believe it. And the Oaks go back down three. It's 12 to 15 and Morrison's on for Galloway. Back to serve, Pamela Dungo, 12 serving 15. Cheney, Kistner, back to Cheney with the tip ball. It's handled there by Dungo. Now DiMartino to Kristen Whitney. Kistner, freeze, sets Cassidy Ray. Tip ball handled by Herrera. Dungo to Keiko Oha. She's blocked. The duo of Cassidy Ray and Lexi Malone make it 16 to 12. Gaddis back to serve. Alexis Gaddis, responsible 
for a long service run that gave Westmont the lead the previous set. Herrera, Dungo, back set to Kei Kooha, it falls wide. Too many unforced errors, it's not Westmont beating the Oaks, it's the Oaks beating the Oaks. Timeout called by coach Denise Sheldon and the Oaks, 17 to 12, Westmont leads here in set number four. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network. Both teams return to the hardwood as the Oaks trailing by five here in set number four, 17 to 12. Westmont trying to force a set number five in what would be the third five setter in a row between this Westmont squad and the Menlo Oaks. Service here by Gaddis. It was handled by Whitney. Keiko Oha swings on it off the top of the block. Cheney handles it. Kistner right back to Cheney off the top of the Oaks block and nobody home. Cheney with a kill. Oaks not looking good here in set number four. Gaddis to serve again. Oaks down by six. Into the net. Back to a five point deficit for the Oaks. And back to serve, I believe it's Moya K. Kooha. Indeed it is, and the Oaks needing a big service run from their senior outside hitter from Kaneohe, Hawaii. Keiko Oha's serve, cross court, Cheney, Kistner to Kenyon, there was Dungo, Keiko Oha, bump set, Kristen Whitney, cross court, Kistner, freeze, sets Cassidy Ray off the hands of Briggs for the kill. Cassidy Ray off the court, as well as Keelan Kistner, Sydney Dunn on, as well as Patty Kerman, 19 to 13 Westmont. Dunn, handled there by Herrera. Dungo, back set, Kristen Whitney. Sydney Dunn gets low for it. Morrison, bump set, free ball coming over from Freeze. Herrera, Dungo, to Kristen Whitney. What a dig there by Dunn. Is it another free ball opportunity? It falls onto the Oaks side and everything's falling Westmont's way. As much excitement and momentum there was in this gym for the first two sets in favor of Menlo, just as much matched here for Westmont in the next two sets. DiMartino cross court handled by Freeze. Dunn sets Cheney. Herrera, Dungo to Kristen Whitney. Tip ball, give her the kill. Four players there for Westmont and none of them could get their hands on it. And Herrera goes back to serve as the Oaks trail by six. It's 14 serving 20. Herrera serves it. Cheney, Dunn, nobody home to swing. It's a service ace for Luciana Herrera. Service ace number 29 on the season. Timeout called by Coach McGulpin as the Oaks get back within five. Step aside for a break. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network.
Luciana Herrera back to serve. 15 serving 20. The Oaks trying to claw back into set four. Not wanting to play a set five against this Westmont team who's red hot right now. Cheney is blocked. There's Morrison. Now done. And what a play by Jaden Scott. Court awareness at its finest from the middle blocker. Herrera serves again. Down to both knees, Morrison. Done. Sets Cheney. She's blocked by Kristen Whitney. And it's a three point game. 17 serving 20. Keelan Kistner steps on. Westmont opting to go with two setters on the court. First time we've seen this today. Kistner and Dunn both on the court. Cross court again. Cheney, Kistner, back to Cheney, DiMartino, Dungo, sets back to DiMartino, she's blocked. Nice block there by Kendall Kenyon. Four point game, Galloway on for Morrison, and Kerman on for Kistner. 21 serving 17, Brooklyn Cheney back to serve. Cheney, a floater, Keikoha, trying to get a free ball chance over, they will not, that's four touches for the Oaks. More unforced errors from Enlo College, and it's looking more and more like we're gonna decide this one in five, just like the past two matchups between these squads. Cheney sends it over, Herrera, Dungo, to Kristen Whitney, Freeze gets down low to get it, Dunn sets Kerman for the kill. Cheney back to serve again. Oaks trail, 23 to 17. Whitney, Dungo, right back to Whitney off the block. And whistle blows. I believe they will say Kerman went under the net and that'll be a point for the Oaks who will look to claw back into this one on the service of Janae Wooten. Wooten, the service ace leader for the Oaks right now. And they could use a few of those from her right now, down 23 to 18 in set four. Of course, if the Oaks fall in this set, there will be a decisive set five. That's something you get when you take the first two sets. Freeze mishandles it. Now Kerman over to Kenyon. DiMartino, Dungo with the dump ball. Freeze gets there. And now in a, sw a swing on it by Galloway. Dungo sets DiMartino, she's blocked. DiMartino sends it over the net. Cheney, done to Galloway. And Galloway picks up the kill. Lauren Freeze back to serve. Set point here in set four. Trying to, to force a decisive set five. Freeze sends it over, Keikoha. Dungo to Jaden Scott, she's blocked. Keiko Oha is there, now a set to DiMartino. She's blocked, this time no return for the Oaks. We're going five. 25-18, Westmont takes it. Menlo builds a quick two nothing lead and just as soon as they build it, they see it evaporate. Going to set five for the third consecutive time. Menlo and Westmont, this is served to be such a good, almost rivalry, you know, these two teams squared off over senior weekend a year ago. Of course, it wasn't on senior day. It was the Friday night game. It went five with Westmont taking the fifth set, 15-11. Menlo will look to win their first game against Westmont in program history if they can take set number five. Quick look at the stats. Kills leader for Westmont, 13 for Cassidy Ray, 10 for Brooklyn Cheney, and nine for Hallie Galloway. In total, Westmont hitting 16.1%, 49 kills on 161 swings, 23 attacking errors, 23 assists for Keelan Kistner, two, or four service aces for Keelan Kistner as well. 19 digs from Brooklyn Cheney, 
and the block leader, three of them from Lexi Malone. Four-year Oaks, 22 kills from Moya Keikooha behind her, nine from Kristen Whitney, seven from Abby Briggs, six from Jaden Scott, and five from Nicole DiMartino. In total, the Oaks have 50 kills on 164 swings, 26 errors, they're swinging at 14.6%. 44 assists for Pamela Dungo, two service aces for Janae Wooten, 20 digs each for DiMartino and Luciana Herrera, and your, kill, uh, your block leader with three, Abby Briggs. 90 seconds away from the start of set number three. We'll step aside for a break. Be back with the decisive set number five. It's the Oaks and the Warriors coming up next on the Menlo College Sports Network. Fifteen points away from deciding if the Oaks have a shot at a regular season title. From deciding if Westmont goes into sole possession of first place in the Golden State Athletic Conference. We will see, and like we just said, 15 short points. Westmont will serve first. It'll be Keelan Kistner, and the Oaks need to find a way to stop the unforced errors we didn't see much of that in set numbers one and two. Since then, it's been more the Oaks beating themselves than Westmont beating the Oaks. Kissner sends it over. Herrera, Dungo to Jaden Scott. She's blocked. Dungo, bump set to Kei Kawoha over the top of the block. Kissner freeze, sets Cassidy Ray. It's blocked by the Oaks and nobody there to clean up for the Oaks. Kill there for Cassidy Ray, the kill leader for Westmont. She's up to 14. Kissner back to serve. Falls wide, point Oaks. Evened up at one apiece here in set number five. Jaden Scott back to serve. Oaks need a big run. They have not been able to pull away from Westmont since set two. Scott. Her serve mishandled by Galloway, now Cheney, free balled over by Freeze. Let's see what the Oaks set up. Jaden Scott, Dungo to Abby Briggs, it falls wide and that's unforced errors for the Oaks. We keep saying it and saying it. You get a free ball opportunity, you can't send it wide. Galloway serve, Herrera, Dungo, back set K. Kooha is blocked, there's Martino. To Dungo, back to Keiko Oha again. And that one falls in. Keiko Oha with an assist from the net. Evens things up at two apiece. Madison Morrison back in for Hallie Galloway. Dungo back to serve now for the Oaks. On senior day, the setter. With 57 career service aces. I beg your pardon, 67. Floater going for that back corner. It's handled by Morrison. Dunn sets Cassidy Ray. There is Herrera. Dungo back set. Kristen Whitney cross court. It falls in. Give her the kill. Oaks. Take the lead. Three to two there in set number five on the Kristen Whitney kill. Dungo to serve again. Oaks need to get some separation from this Westmont team if they hope to take this fifth set. Down the line, handled by Morrison. A set there for Malone, too hot to handle for Herrera. We're tied up at three apiece. 
Alexis Gaddis back on. Gaddis will step on to serve. The service specialist in just her freshman season with the Warriors, Alexis Gaddis. Three all. The freshman serve. Herrera, Dungo, sets Kei Kawoha, finding some open space, but quickly closing the door. Gaddis and a beautiful kill there from Cheney makes it 4 3 Westmont. Momentum all on the backs of the Warriors right now. Even their fans are louder. Herrera, Briggs to Whitney over the block. Morrison, Kisner, back set to Ray, splits the block, give her the kill. Westmont takes a five point lead. And it's five to three. Gaddis to serve again. Alexis Gaddis goes cross court. DiMartino, Kei Kooha to Kristen Whitney. Off the top of the block, Cheney gets it over. Now Dungo, DiMartino to Kei Kooha. Cross court, handled by Morrison. Now Cheney a tip ball. Dungo, DiMartino again to Kristen Whitney. Too much mustard on that one. Unforced errors by the Oaks. Timeout called by Coach Denise Sheldon. Warriors doubled up on the Oaks in set five. It's six to three here on the Menlo College Sports Network. Teams back on the court. Coach Denise Sheldon giving out some animated final words of encouragement to her squad who are trailing by three here in set number five. It's six serving three. Westmont on top, Alexis Gaddis to serve. Alexis Gaddis sends it over. Herrera, Dungo to Kristen Whitney. Give her the kill, the Oaks needed that. It's not the hardest swing, but able to find the open space on the court. Lexi Malone back on the court. Moya K. Kooha back to serve. Does she have any senior day magic in the tank? K. Kooha from a stance. Morrison. Kistner to Cheney. K. Kooha. Dungo keeps it up. No, an illegal touch called. You know, a net violation, in fact, called on Kristen Whitney. Kerman and Dunn back on for Westmont. Dunn goes back to serve. Seven serving four. The Oaks can't pull back within three, or cannot pull closer than three so far. Momentum, all Warriors. Kenyon, a huge slam. Team switch sides, eight four. Westmont leads here in set five. It's all about Westmont here. The Oaks fans getting loud though, and this is maybe what they need as they switch onto their side. Listen to this crowd roar. Will this be the momentum boost that the Oaks need? Done back to serve. Herrera, Dungo. Sets Whitney through the hands of Kerman. Give her the kill. Oaks trying to claw their way back into set number five. Let's see what they have left in the tank. Is there senior day magic here in the gym? Herrera sinker handled by Morrison. Cheney sends it wide. Timeout called by Coach Ruth McGulpin and the Warriors. Oaks Trail 8-6 to six here in set five. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network.
You can hear the fans cheering on here. Let's go Menlo as they're on a little run of their own here. Six serving eight, Herrera sends it cross court, handled by Cheney, Dunn. Back to Cheney with the tip ball. DiMartino, Dungo, back set to Whitney. She's blocked, Keiko Ohas there. Dungo, back set, Whitney a second time. She's blocked, Keiko Oha can't get there. Galloway back on for Morrison. Cheney back to serve. Cheney service, floater handled by Kay Kooha. Dungo to Jaden Scott, mistouched, unforced error, leads to Westmont points. Ten serving six. Cheney sends it over. Kay Kooha bumps that Dungo to Whitney. Tip ball. Kerman. Dunn to Kenyon. It falls wide. It'll be seven serving 10 as Janae Wooten steps back on the court. The Oaks in desperate need of a Janae Wooten service run. Seven serving 10. The sophomore Wooten down the line. Galloway, done. Back to Galloway. Keiko Oha's there. Dungo bumps it to DiMartino through the block. What a dig by Freeze. Galloway bumps it to Kerman. It's in the net. Eight to 10 Oaks. Can they battle back in front of the hometown crowd? Wooten the sophomore back to serve. The lone sophomore on the squad. Wooten sends it over. Cheney, done to Galloway. It goes long and the Oaks are within one. Timeout called by Coach McGulpin, her second at the Oaks Trail by one. Listen to this crowd. We'll be back on the Menlo College Sports Network. Nine serving 10. The Oaks trying to tie it up here on the serve from Janae Wooten. Both timeouts burned by Coach McGolpin. Coach Sheldon and the Oaks have one more. Wooten serve, a sinker handled by Freeze. Dunn back set to Kerman, she's blocked. Freeze sends it over. Dungo, Keiko Oha, bump set to DiMartino. She's blocked, Keiko Oha. Dungo to Jaden Scott, she's blocked. Jaden Scott keeps it up. DiMartino to Keiko Oha, free balled over, and Dunn finds the back corner. Well done by Dunn. Nothing more you can do with that one. Perfectly played by the setter, Sydney Dunn, to reestablish Westmont's lead at two. Freeze back to serve. Keiko Oha, Dungo to Jaden Scott off the top of the block. Nobody touched that, it's off the net. Westmont back head to three. Unforced errors lead to Westmont points. We've been saying it all night long. There goes the second timeout. Called by Coach Denise Sheldon. 12-9, Westmont leads here in set five. You're watching Oaks Volleyball here on the Menlo College Sports Network.
Lauren Fries continues her service run. Both teams have used both of their timeouts. Can the Oaks claw back? Trailing three by three here. It's 12 serving nine. Lauren Fries' serve. Kei Kooha, Herrera to DiMartino. Through the block, but there is Galloway. Dunn, Jaden Scott sends it back onto Westmont's side. Set over the net by Dunn. Free ball opportunity. Dungo to DiMartino cross court. There was Freeze, now Galloway. Tip ball handled by Herrera. Dungo to DiMartino with the left hand. Tip ball was there. Kerman, now Galloway. Herrera, Dungo. Keiko Oha from the back line. Give her the kill! <laughs> 10, 12, Oaks serving. DiMartino back to serve on senior day. Martino serve, a line drive, handled by Cheney. Now Dunn sets Malone off the top of the net. Here come the Oaks. Jaden Scott, misdirection, freeze. It's bumped over, it falls wide. It's 11 to 12. <laughs> Oaks right back in this thing. 11 serving 12, Nicole DiMartino providing the spark on her senior day. Now the Westmont fans getting loud. Ball blown into play. DiMartino serve. Line drive down the line, handled by Cheney. Done. Over to Galloway. There's DiMartino, but she sends it over the net. That's caught by Kay Kooha. Sorry, Mo, can't do that one. Cassidy Ray and Keelan Kistner on. It's 13 serving 11 is when the Oaks dug themselves in a hole here in set three. They just haven't been able to pull back. They've gotten within one a couple of times, and that's it. Kistner's service. It goes long. Smart play by the smart senior, Moya K. Kawoha. She jumps up. We were sure she was gonna touch that one. Ducks out of the way at the last minute. She knew that one was going long. Jaden Scott back to serve. Scott service mishandled and somehow punched over. K or Dungo, beg your pardon, 2K Kooha cross court. Oaks nearly with a gift there. Kerman now. DiMartino to K Kooha. It's sent up by, by uh, Kistner and sent over by Kaiman. K Kooha, give her the kill! Thirteen all. Can Jaden Scott lead the Oaks to victory behind the line? Scott service. Cheney. Kistner. A nice dig there by Wooten. Now K Kooha. Cheney. Back set here to Cassidy Ray. DiMartino. Dungo to K Kooha. Off the block and it hits the antenna. <laughs> Can you feel it, Oaks fans? Menlo on the precipice of knocking off Westmont for the first time in program history. Set point, match point, Jaden Scott. Here it comes. Sent over by Galloway, there's Wooten. Dungo to Abby Briggs, she can't send it over to the net. Bonus volleyball here in set number five. Allie Galloway back to serve. Herrera, Dungo, sets Kei Kooha, give her the kill. And how poetic would it be on senior day, the all-time leader in assists, the best setter in Menlo College history, Pamela Dungo, Back to serve, match point. The gym goes quiet. Dungo service, cross court. Morrison, Kistner, to Ray. Point, Oaks. Listen 
to this crowd roar. They know how huge this win was for Menlo College. Westmont refusing to leave the court. They're claiming there was not a touch on it. Oaks fans are on the court. Freeze is arguing the call. Freeze can't believe it, still pleading her case with the referee, chasing the referee over to Coach Denise Sheldon. We may still have a game on, ladies and gentlemen. And now they will rule. Oaks win. One more time for good measure. Menlo College stays alive in their hopes for a GSAC regular season title for the first time in 16 tries. They down Westmont College three sets to two. It took extra volleyball 16 to 14. They win in set number five. How about that Menlo College on senior day? getting a nice win for your four seniors, all four of them having contributions, yes, including Emily Sonata. Her mentorship of these younger middles has been stellar for the Oaks. Take a look at the stats for both teams. First, for the Westmont Warriors, the kills leader, Cassidy Ray, 15 kills on 34 swings, five attacking errors behind her, Brooklyn Shaney, 12 kills on 37 swings, six attacking errors, as a team, Westmont, 57 kills, 191 swings, 29 errors. They swing at 14.7%. 28 assists for Keelan Kistner, as well as four service aces. 21 digs each for Lauren Freeze and Brooklyn Cheney. And the block leader with two and a half for them, Lexi Malone. For your Oaks, 27 kills. On senior day, Moya K. Kooha, 52 assists. On senior day, Pamela Dungo, 23 digs. On senior day, Nicole DiMartino. And the Oaks, on the backs of their seniors, are able to down Westmont College in five sets. The final score of that fifth set, 16 to 14. With the win, Menlo College improves to 16 and nine and 12 and four in the Golden State Athletic Conference. And with a Vanguard victory, Menlo College could be in first place by the end of the night in the Golden State Athletic Conference. Westmont, the receiving boat team, a brilliant game put on to, by them. They fall to 21 and six and 12 and four as well in the Golden State Athletic Conference. For your Oaks, one more road trip before the GSAC tournament. They head down to Southern California for matchups with 24th ranked Hope International and Life Pacific, a team that took them to five sets here inside Haynes Prim Pavilion. That'll wrap it up for our Saturday coverage of Menlo College women's volleyball. The Oaks take it three sets to two over the Westmont College Warriors. On behalf of everyone here at Menlo College Athletics and my broadcast producer, Ravian Jones, this is Ryan Barnett signing off one more time for Menlo College Women's Volleyball, barring a host site for the Menlo College, or for the Golden State Athletic Conference Tournament. Thanks so much for tuning in, and go Oaks!